In 1975, Frank Robinson became the first African-American manager in Major League Baseball when he was hired by the Cleveland Indians as a player manager. This significant accomplishment broke the color barrier in Major League Baseball management, making it possible for minorities today. Frank Robinson was born on August 31, 1935 in Beaumont, Texas. He moved to Oakland at the age of four with his mother, Ruth Robinson. By the time he was a teenager, baseball was the focus of his life, but his family was poor and he was 14 before he owned his first baseball glove. He played basketball in high school along future NBA star Bill Russell. However, he was more passionate about baseball than basketball. In 1953, at only 18 years old, he was signed to the Cincinnati Reds for a contract for $3,500. He played the first three years of his career in the minor leagues. He came to the major leagues in 1956, and he won the Rookie of the Year Award with the Cincinnati Reds. He also won the Most Valuable Player Award in 1961. In that year, he carried his team to the World Series, but they finished in second place. After the 1965 season, the Reds traded Robinson to the Baltimore Orioles. He started taking a stand for African Americans in baseball that season. He became one of the most outspoken players because of the segregated housing in Baltimore and because sometimes white pitchers would throw up black hitters and the MLB was not doing anything to stop it. In his first season with the Orioles in 1966, he had the best season of his career. He won the Triple Crown, which means he led the league in home runs, runs batted in, and batting average. Only two players have done it since then. He won the MVP award a second time, breaking barriers by becoming the first and only player to win the MVP in both the American and National League. He also carried the Orioles to the World Series and they won it in four games. They reached the World Series again in 1969, but they lost. They reached the World Series again in 1970, beating the Cincinnati Reds, his former team. They then reached the World Series again in 1971, but lost. After that season, the Orioles traded Robinson to the Los Angeles Dodgers. He was then traded to the California Angels after his first season with the Dodgers. Robinson was tra traded after two years with the California Angels to the Cleveland Indians. He retired in 1976 after 21 years of playing. He hit 586 home runs and had 1,812 RBIs in his career. Robinson broke numerous barriers in his playing career by setting records and earning many awards. Even after Jackie Robinson became the first African-American player in 1947, there were still racial problems in the MLB. Many teams turned Frank Robinson down for a manager position because of his race. However, he had his heart set on managing a team in the MLB. Robinson broke a significant barrier when he was hired by the Cleveland Indians as a player manager in 1975, meaning that he was in charge of the team, but he could also play. This made him the first African-American manager in Major League Baseball. Robinson reflected in his memoirs about his first appearance as a player manager. It was the biggest ovation I ever received, and it almost brought tears to my eyes. After all the years of waiting to become a big league manager, ignored because so many team owners felt that fans would not accept a black manager, I was on the job, and people were loudly pleased. According to the Smithsonian Magazine, before Jackie Robinson's death in 1972, Jackie was adamant that for segregation in baseball to truly be over. African Americans needed to be allowed into management and ownership. Robinson's move in 1975 was a fulfillment of that dream. Part of the first wave of African Americans moving into management positions in the corporate world, academia, and elsewhere. Frank Robinson remembered... The Indian said this was a chance for me to break that barrier, to open the door and let more African Americans have the opportunity to come through it. He managed the Cleveland Indians from 1975 to 1977 with 186 wins and 189 losses. He took a break from managing, and but then went back in 1981, and he managed the San Francisco Giants until 1984. There, he had 264 wins and 277 losses. He took another break and was hired by the Baltimore Orioles in 1988, his former team.
team. He had 230 wins and 285 losses in Baltimore. He won American League Manager of the Year in 1989. He took another break to spend time with his family, and he was hired by the Montreal Expos, who later became the Washington Nationals in 2002. He had 385 wins and 425 losses with the Nationals, and he retired in 2006. Frank Robinson pioneered the way for African Americans that play or manage on any Major League Baseball team. Many MLB ma- managers since Frank Robinson have been African American. He died on February 7th. 2019 at the age of 86. He will always be remembered as one of the greatest players and managers of Major League Baseball. He was elected into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1982. Through his outstanding performance as a player and his tenacity as the first African American player manager, Frank Robinson broke major barriers in the MLB.